All right, guys. Well, um, I was watching, and I have an RX 478 gig that keeps falling off of a Windows rig. So uh, I'm going to swap some cards around. I'll show you what I'm doing. But um, this is basically just kind of a, um, a behind-the-scenes video. Really, not really informative, but I'm going to show you what I'm doing, and maybe you might gain something from it. But I'm going to take that 478 gig out of a Windows machine, put it into a Hive, which is a Linux-based operating system, and see if maybe it maybe Windows is having a problem picking up the card. Um, if not, then that means maybe potentially that card is on its way out. Because, uh, like, one out of every two times that I restart the computer, the card does not show up anymore. So, um, Linux seems to be pretty, uh, in my opinion, uh, does a better job of picking up cards. Just more stable for mining. Because it's, like, the, the Hive OS and a lot of other mining-centric based uh, uh, versions of Linux, just they just don't have as many issues. So... Let's go. All right, so as you can see here, I have a 570, and then here's the 470. And if you'll notice on this rig, or this machine, devices, only the 570 is showing up. So I can restart it a couple times, and the 470 will show up, but for some reason, it'll lose it. Um, and I think that's causing some instability on this, on this machine. This is a mining 470, so it has no displays on it. So that I can't really use it as like a main GPU because sometimes some cards won't work as a secondary or a third or but they will as a main. I don't know why that is. So I'm gonna take this out and we're gonna take it over to the uh, the rigs in the corner. All right, so over here I have a couple. This is a 3060 Ti, 3070, 1060, uh, and then some open slots. But I have a 3070 down here. I'm gonna move that up up top, and that's actually a 1060. Um, I might leave that one right there. I don't know. I'd like to do all AMD on this bottom shelf and then keep this all NVIDIA. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not exactly sure because that card needs a Molex plug for that uh, that fan. Unless I convert it over, I guess. I potentially wouldn't. Um, I might have a Molex up there. I might be able to move that up there. Yeah, let, let, me, let me do some consolidation. All right, I have consolidated the NVIDIA to up here. So, two 1060s two 3070s and one 3060 Ti and now this is wide open to start putting some AMD cards in because um, I have some other AMD that's mixed up here and I feel like maybe that's giving that rig a little bit of instability I know a lot of people have mixed AMD and Nvidia but I, I always feel like they run a little bit better when you can keep them together you know what I mean um, but I guess it'll just make me feel better at least so probably probably would run fine just just mixed together but oh, oh well you know this is this is what I'm doing so not not everything I'm doing is is necessarily correct all right so I just went ahead and uh, slammed it down into the motherboard instead of getting it set up onto the risers and stuff I want to verify that that card is working and showing up on hive so let's go check if it is all right guys I'm upstairs and this RX 470 is showing up in hive but it's having a lot of issues when I do any overclocks it instantly crashes so I pulled all the overclocks off now and I'm gonna see if I can't just get it to boot up uh, I was trying it inside of uh, with T-Rex and then Phoenix Miner now I switched it over and we are trying Team Red Miner just anything I can do to squeak a little bit of hash out of this card for a little bit longer I've had this card for about uh, almost three years now so if I can if I can get another day out of it I'll consider that a win all right guys so i went ahead and jumped onto the computer so i ha i can quit using my phone to like record everything um i restarted the uh the rig and with no overclock set it will mine at 21.32 mega hash but every time i try to put any kind of overclock in you see it says amd settings applied with errors and when i go click on it it, it just doesn't really show me anything it just says radeon rx 470 in red so i don't know what the issue is with this card but it's giving me 21 mega hash so it's only actually at 74 watts obviously that doesn't include the pcie or the riser power so it, it more more or less it's probably like 110 to 120 watts um but i'll take 21 mega hash instead of zero mega hash so potentially if you have a card that's giving you issues on windows it's not showing up or it's acting funny um throwing it into a linux hive simple miner or a basically a linux based mining specific operating system uh, may clear up that issue for you just you know 
so something that might l prolong its life and you you might be able to squeeze a little bit of extra time out of it because right now 21 mega hash if we go on to what to mine it is definitely well worth running 21 mega hash 21 mega hash on ethereum we'll hit calculate that comes out to where, where's ethereum at here let's hit, let's go to ethereum 21 mega hash is a dollar 75 a day so that card instead of giving me zero dollars a day it's giving me a dollar 75 a day and at 130 watts that's a dollar 44 in profit it's only costing me 31 cents in electric at 10 cents per kilowatt to run that card so yeah absolutely we gonna run that thing but in a yeah, yeah other than that um oh if you did if you guys did want to see i switched around those other cards let me go over here uh i put them on this rig right here so yep i have two 3070s a 3060 ti and then two 1060s um, I actually need to set the straps on those 1060s so I can get those up to 20. Um, I think I might be able to squeeze a little bit more out of this 3070 also. So, um, yeah, good stuff. Other than that, guys, have a good one. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Adios.